This is a vaccine model where the vaccination details of the patient can be recorded. Click on add icon here to enter the vaccination details. And here we have a couple of options here. One is a taken date and the reminder date. So taken date will enable the doctor to specify on which particular date this particular vaccination was taken. And the reminder date will enable the doctor to specify on which particular date this particular vaccination has to be taken down the line. Here we can specify the taken date and select a date from the calendar. Now vaccination is supported by CVX, which is a universally recognized database of medical codes provided by the World Health Organization. The user can type in a few characters and search for the codes from the database, which is provided by CVX. Or the user have another option to type in the description of the vaccination added here. Either of these boxes are mandatory before saving this particular module. Now let's click on this more option and we have a status field which will enable the user to specify if this particular vaccination is active or inactive. And if the doctor feels that this particular vaccination added here could be used on a frequent basis, we have an option here called add as favorite and we can also assign labels. We can assign multiple SST labels and also create labels also at the same time to enable search more easily. So once the details are entered here, if the doctor feels that this particular status field which was previously added by clicking on a small option should be available each time a vaccination has to be entered in the module. You can add the relevant detail here and once clicked on save, this particular status field will be saved as user preference. It will be available each time a vaccination has to be or will be entered into the module. Now if the doctor feels that this particular status field should be removed before saving this particular module, double clicking here and this particular status field with an active information will be removed. Now after the relevant details are entered here, the doctor can click on save to save the detail. Now let's click on this favorite icon here and we have a folder called favorite vaccine folder and this for the details or the vaccination details which were previously added as favorite. Click on the ellipse icon here and we can search by the label which is assigned to it. And as you can see this was a vaccine which was previously added as favorite and click on this add icon. And we can have the particular vaccination detail imported into the HR and this will also enable the doctor to reduce a lot of charting time. Now before completing the health record, if the doctor wishes to edit or delete any of this previous vaccination details added here, click on the detail. To delete is a very simple procedure, clicking on this trash icon, we can have this particular vaccination details deleted. And to edit the same procedure, we can make the relevant edits here. We can select a date from the calendar to, to set the reminder date. And once clicked on save, that particular edits will be saved here. Now let's go to a new visit where a new health record will be created and that can be done by clicking on the health record option from the left side menu bar and click on new health record as it is a new visit. And as you can see the vaccination details which was previously added in the last visit with their reminder date will be automatically be available here. And the other vaccination details which were previously added in the last visit will be moved to a folder called past taken vaccination folder and can be accessed by clicking on this ellipse icon. Now let's click on this past taken vaccine folder and as you can see this was the previous vaccination details which was added in the last visit. If the doctor feels that this particular vaccination should be added again in this particular visit, you can have it by simply clicking on the side icon to have that information imported into the HR. And this can be done in the current visit and can be done in the future visits of the patient also.